going on, Lancers? Welcome back to Lancers in the News. This is our last video of the semester, so don't miss us too much over break. Before we head into the holidays, you guys have to tackle finals week. Before you do that, let's hit you guys with some announcements. As far as Christian service goes, a special thanks to all the students, faculty, and staff who sponsored a child in need through the Shoes That Fit Drive. Your encouragement and words of support will definitely add to their Christmas spirit and inspire them to be better and do better in school. Another special thanks to the faculty and staff who remembered to share their blessings with the elderly. Our Lancers gave their gifts to an elderly at yesterday's Adopt-A-Grandparent, and they can't wait until they return next semester. On Monday, a Bishop Amal graduate who is currently attending the University of San Francisco will be available at lunch to meet with students that want to learn more about USF and their nursing program. Please see Mr. Scott for a hall pass. Hey, Sarah, what are you getting your boyfriend for Christmas? Which one? <sighs> well, we went around asking some Lancers what they're getting their significant other for Christmas. With Christmas around the corner, we went around asking students about their shopping plans for the holidays. Hi, we're with Spidey, Christian Contreras, Alicia Henderson. And since it's holiday season, if you only had 50 bucks, what would you buy for your significant other? Uh, you know that one huge pack of chicken at Cane's? It comes with like iced tea, lemonade, and a bunch of chicken. That's the way to go. Okay. Um, new makeup? I mean, I don't have a significant other, but if I did, I'd buy them a Cowboys jersey because the Dallas Cowboys are the best team ever. <laughs> Hi, we're with uh, Ben Rodriguez, sophomore. Avery Rangel, junior. What are you buying for your significant other? Uh, probably like makeup and flowers, something nice. Okay. Um, I think I'd probably give him money to go get a haircut. His hair is kind of like all over the place. <laughs> Hi, we were with uh, Donovan Clinton. 10th grade? If you only had 50 bucks, what are you buying for your significant other? Uh, a onesie. What, just a onesie? What, what, uh, what else? With the fuzzy socks on the bottom. All right, all right. Hi, we're with? Sophia, Brianna. Hey, since it's holiday season, if you only had 50 bucks, what are you buying for your man? I was spending all on V-Bucks. Uh, I'd buy myself a boyfriend. Hi, we're with? Sierra, I'm a junior. Stephanie, I'm a junior. Okay. If you had 50 bucks this holiday season, what are you buying for your man? Um, cleats or something. I don't know. Something from Nike. Like some shoes, you know. Shoes are always good. Such as, such as shoes? Okay. I, I felt bad. Hi, we're with... Maddie, seventh grade. Okay, since it's holiday season, what are you buying your significant other if you only had $50? Um, probably like 50 things worth of stuff at the Dollar Tree. So the cheap route? Mmm, not so much, but I mean, like, it's stuff you could fit in a basket, so yeah. All right, all right. We're with uh, Ricardo Centeno, Freshie. This holiday season, what are you buying for your girl? Everything off the McDonald's $1 menu. <laughs> Hi, we're with Brandon Lee, Nathan Duva. With Black Friday and Cyber Monday behind us, what's your guys' wish list this year for this Christmas? I need some AirPods to listen to some music, you know. I need AirPods. All right. Um, as you can see, uh, I need a new upgrade with my car. Right over here. <laughs> All right, thank you. This is Richard Duran reporting for The Lance. Thanks, guys. Back to announcements. Pre-sale tickets for the father-daughter dance around the world will be sold on Wednesday, December 19th and Thursday, December 20th at lunch in the ASP office for $35 per person. Regular sale tickets go on sale starting December 21st on the Bishop of Mont website for $40 a person. This exciting evening will be held on Saturday, January 22nd in the Carroll Center and filled with dinner, dancing, games, and more. Drama Club's evening of theater is coming. Even though the performances are not until February 1st and 2nd, now is the time to begin thinking about if you'd like to be part of the performance and what you'd like to perform. Do you play an instrument? Have you written an interesting skit or monologue? Or is there a song that you just love to sing? Whatever your talent is, all are welcome. Auditions will take place shortly after we return from Christmas break, so start thinking and rehearsing for this annual event. If you have further questions about the performance, please see Ms. Busser or any drama club advisor. Let's showcase your talents. All track and field athletes interested in throwing the shot put and discuss this season should meet with Mr. Murphy in room 108 today at lunch. Speaking of sports, here's Matthew Acosta with some updates for the week. What's up, Lancers? Let me get you all caught up on this week in sports. Let's get started on the court where our boys basketball team has a, had a rough week this week losing both their games against Palisades and Long Beach Poly. Our boys play next Friday against Covina High School. Go look, boys. And while we're on the topic of basketball, our Lady Lancers basketball team overwhelmed South Hills and beat them by a score of 77-24. to Their next game is tonight against Whittier High School. If you can't make it out to the game, make sure to check out the Lance.org for sports scores for the past, from the past week. 
Now onto the field where our boys soccer team had two games this week. On Tuesday they played Via Park and finished with a draw. Their game on Wednesday against Ar Artesia, uh, our boys lost three to zero. Their last game was last night so make sure against West Covina, so make sure to check out the Lance for those results. The girls' soccer team also had a game last night, so make sure, make sure to check out the Lance.org for those results. But before you do, here's Andrea Cunan getting us inside scoop on Nayeli Diaz, who has been playing for the Mexico under-17 team. Nayeli Diaz, y apareció en esa carrera larga el penal. Le va a pegar la capitana Nicole Pérez. Vamos, Nicole. El remate de Pérez. like there's a lot more passion in it because of like it's their country they want to do gonna make their country known and yeah a lot different from high school and club <laughs> um, well obviously we have like a big break so just high school season and hopefully get invited back to 20s of February how did it feel being verified on Twitter <laughs> um, it was weird like when I first saw it I was a little confused like why <laughs> but um, yeah, getting the email was cool, saying like I was verified, but yeah, it's just a weird experience. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Um, I learned that they have a lot of passion. We obviously, Mexico's a big country, so we have a lot of fans. And I just love getting like all like the supportive people like messaging me and saying like, oh, good luck. Like Mexico's so proud of you. So that was really cool. Thanks, Andrea. Now back to you guys. Thanks, Matthew. Before we close out, let's say hello to all the teachers on campus that are expecting. Bishop Amont has recently had a few teachers come back from maternity leave and one on the way. I went around asking about how they adjusted back into school. I'm here with... Jackie Rogers. So how has it been readjusting to school with the new baby? Um, it's been intense. I will say that my first day back was a lot harder than I expected. I was really tired, but since then everyone has been so kind, so welcoming. My co-workers have been so kind and so welcoming and my students have been um, very welcoming and kind so it's been nice being back. So what's it like being a working mom? Uh, being a working mom is intense. There's a lot to be done and I have, I mean, you know, there's four kids at home so there's a lot to be done at home so sometimes it feels hard but I think when I'm here I get to focus on just being a teacher here and then when I go home I focus on just being a mom at home. So how are you preparing to have this baby? Um, well, I have um, the baby's nursery finished. We just put the car seat in the car, which is really scary. And um, this weekend, I will pack my um, hospital bag, which is even a scarier thought. Mm -hmm. But we're, we're getting there, so we're getting close. Um, so I feel prepared in a sense, but you never know what to expect when a baby comes. We don't know if there's any complications or anything like that. So I know approximately what time I'm leaving and approximately what time I'm coming back, but um, that always um, can change. So, so we'll see what happens. Okay, thank you. So how has it been uh, readjusting into school from the baby? It's been interesting. At the beginning, it was a little hectic, um, but gradually it's been a little bit better for myself. And how is it academically coming into like the classroom again after being gone for two months? It's been difficult as well. I mean, it's it's hard for me to grade at home. It's pretty impossible now because I have two kids now, and um, but I try my best, you know, in the morning after school because me being a counselor, there's so many students that come in and out. But I'm trying to do my best. <laughs> I'm Isaiah Hernandez reporting for the Lens. Now it's time to announce the results of last week's poll. We asked you what the best Christmas movie was. Alf won with 29%, Home Alone in a close second with 26%, and The Polar Express not far behind with 24%. The Grinch and the Santa Claus came in 4th and 5th with 15% and 16% respectively. Well, looks like we've reached the end, folks. Thanks for tuning in every Friday this semester. See you next year. Have a joyful Friday. And a Happy New Year.